Arabic is a very beautiful language and a very interesting language to study and very rewarding in its own right. Um, but in addition to that, um, it is a language which is spoken by more than 250 million people in the world and is a United Nations language. So in that respect, it has a, a very, very um, large value to us as, as learners. Well, we're called the Institute of Arab and Islamic Studies, but actually we do a lot more than that. Because we're a multidisciplinary department, we have people doing different academic disciplines, and that means that we have historians, anthropologists, religious studies specialists, and many others. But it also means that all of our academics are research active, as we call it. This means that they're writing books and articles on their special subjects all the time. I find what's really helped uh, my studies um, at the Institute in particular is um, the wide variety of uh, academics and scholars uh, employed. Um, I feel that the Middle East can be quite a polarising issue. A lot of people have different perceptions about it and it's quite important that you make up your own uh, mind. And in studying Arabic, I think I found it actually fantastic to have such a wide variety of scholars um, and academics here at the university and it's made me love Arabic. I'm really enjoying studying here in this sort of tight-knit community where there's, there's not actually many students in reality so it means that we've all made good friendships and that you know, entails lots of a fantastic atmosphere while we're learning. On top of this I think the constant feedback and the high number of contact hours we have is really important because it means that we're completely evolving and constantly learning more so I think that's incredibly important so so far I'm really enjoying what we're doing here. I think that my undergraduate studies really um, shaped the way the way that my career has gone since like following on into academia and I think one of the ways in which that happened was was that the, the standard of Arabic that I left with was so high that I really felt comfortable with going on to research um, in Arab communities and the other way is that the optional modules available to me surrounding history of the Middle East culture politics and gender studies which is ev eventually what I chose to um, to study were really eye-opening for me and learning more about, about where my career could take me. When I came here on the open day, I absolutely loved it. And I think the Institute is fantastic. You know, it's got exhibitions that are on all the time um, to do with the Middle East and they have lots of visiting speakers, which really enhance your experience and sort of understanding of the culture and history and of the politics as well out there in the Middle East when you can sometimes feel quite far away here in Exeter. But given the opportunity to travel there on a year abroad, it really gives a connection to the country that you're, the countries that you're studying. I can say without hesitation the Institute is the best place to do Arabic, Islamic and Middle East studies in Europe. There's no doubt about the quality of the people that are teaching um, here, um, especially since they are the leading figures in the public sphere. They're the ones who you watch on TV, they're the ones who you see on BBC, on Al Jazeera, on a, on a range of different platforms. I feel I've benefited massively from studying here at IS next year. Um, we've had the most incredible time. The teaching is fantastic. We've got amazing, amazing lecturers. They all are very specialised in their subjects. And I 100% recommend it to anyone who wants to. It's just incredible and everyone is so nice.